favorite time of the day. Something completely different. This is Shug Jordan, coach of the Auburn Tigers. Say what? No, 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 no. It's pronounced Jaden. Yes, yes, yes. This is Shug Jaden, football coach of the Auburn Tigers. It's pronounced Jordan. It doesn't matter which one do you want to get. Just make I'll, a call. I'll, you, I'll do this one. You can do. Try both. I don't care. This will be better. All right, I'm doing, I'm doing both. I like this. This feels good. This feels right. It's like I'm at a press conference. <laughs> Jason, J- <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy now has not one, but two microphones. I need two mics. You can go back and forth. This is going to totally throw me off. We'll pick one and I'll, we'll stick with it. All Let right. Just... Well, this will be, well, this will be good. <laughs> okay. This will, this will cover right, right that, in the middle. Okay. All right. The sweet spot. <laughs> Oh, this is right there. Okay. No, I'm just saying. Easy. I'm just saying. All right. Okay. Before I forget, yes. Special shout out to we will call him Alan. Hi, Alan. But he's not in Tennessee. Oh, he's not. He is. Is he in, listening online too? He's uh, listening online in ES, Mar- Margaritaville. ESPNAU.com mm, in Margaritaville, New Orleans. Oh. Well, he's drinking New Orleans. He's drinking. I, I mean, maybe maybe I'm not supposed to say that. He's in New Orleans. He's listening live. I don't know who he is. But he's we'll in, call him out. But he's in he's in L.A. <laughs> right. He's in Louisiana. That's right. Got it. So shout out. Nola. I'm, I'm going to be all Nola flustered now. Well, I know. No one he's listening. I Usually understand. I just get to talk about him like he's not real. Yeah. Well, I didn't believe he was real, and I'm still not really 100% sure. <laughs> But it, but he's it, giving you he, so much good he, stuff. He keeps bringing it's, it's coming from somewhere. I don't he's know bringing it, man. From. Yeah, dude's bringing it. I know, I know. That's solid. Have you had a good week? Yeah, it's been yeah, a, it's, it's been a it's been it went by fast. Yeah, it has feels like go. a Friday already. Well, I don't it, know what's wrong? It kind of does, except that I've got to. Except I'm here. <laughs> except I've got to get up and and do Andy's show again tomorrow. Which yeah, if it was Saturday, it would be really awkward. Right. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, but no, it's been a good week. There's been yeah. there's been some fun stuff coming, and you know, there. speaking of stuff that Alan had, you know, that, yes, that uh, you know, we finally posted the um, what we listened to last week, the the the, the uh, uh, Shug's Shug's stuff. dedication yep. The yep. speech, and that went over pretty well. Well, and there People, was also there was also the uh, uh, the um, uh, the the book of the book of girls, the book, the coed book. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. I already put. Yeah, yeah, that one got put on there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That was a good one. It was good. I liked that it. It was a good one. week. Yeah. There was there's been a lot of good stuff. Uh th- I've actually still got the um I've still got the ep- w- the episode that we did on a Friday when I was not here. Right. I I've, I've got that one now. It took me a while to get that um What'd you think? Was well, it <laughs> I I I've, I've not listened to every single minute of it. What I heard was hysterical. <laughs> what I heard was very very good. Yeah. It was. I haven't recovered fully. Yeah, neither has Ron. Don't, don't leave again. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't leave again. Don't leave me. Where is he? He's out hamming it up with the mayor. Oh, that was a it. joke. That was a joke. That was a funny joke. Well done. That was. Uh, that was Bill Ham. That was Mayor, hamming it up. Mayor Ham. I got it. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, but wow. yeah, it was a uh, yeah, it was a good week. And so yeah, so speaking of yes, that uh, the Shug thing. If yes. we want to actually launch right into it, we can. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Maybe we should stretch it out. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But whatever. Well, we'll just go. We'll just go with it. But speaking of that thing, you know, it, it was it was a big deal, and I thought it would get a lot of attention. We're talking about when the, you know the stadium was dedicated. Yes. And Wallace is there in '73. You know. And he, you know, hereby announced, proclaim this, the Jordan Hare Stadium, you right. know, and then Suge gets up and talks about Professor Hare. Oh, I, I love that. I walked it, amongst him. Yeah. <laughs> ba- ba- uh, just, uh, man, right. that accent is just so awesome. Right, right, right. And so, you he know, came I came in with a cigar. Right. It was crazy. And I had, you know, an emotional response, like yeah. um, a revelation. Yeah. Emotional apocalypse. Well, ecstasy, yeah. <laughs> not the drug it's a definition, yeah, Diction, okay. dictionary definition. I got you. Yeah. And um, and and so about that night, actually, after we posted it. Yeah. Got an email from a, Alan. Uh, no, no. From no. somebody else. <laughs> I can't believe 
Uh, no. Um, you got no, an email. No, G.W. Clapp was the man's name. You meet the most interesting mm-hmm. people with the really most unique name. There's a lot of great names. And speaking of great names. H.W. Clapp. I've been thinking about how the Plainsman, the editors of the Plainsman, have some of the greatest names ever. Yeah. Right now, it, the, the right now, the editor of the Plainsman used to be, by the way, one of my interns, and his name is Robert E. Lee. The South will write again. Oh, <laughs> come on, give me a button. Oh, oh man, that was <laughs> that was good. That right. was good. Right, I like that one. And. Uh, and and before that though, Miranda Dollarhide. <laughs> I did not realize how great is that. That is an awesome name. I know it is great. That is fantastic. There was a Napo Monasterio. Man, when I was in school, what kind of a name is kind that? Of makes Richard boring. Yeah, I know. I'm, yeah. I'm so I'm so white yeah, bread. A, uh, yeah. Richard Perkins. I don't it's even so, remember your name. I know it's time. well. It's I'm a forgettable person. It's it's such a such a just a vanilla <laughs> right. White bread without the crust kind of... I hate it. I, <laughs> I'm just joking. No, that's a good name, Rich Perkins. It's it's memorable. Perkins is a good, well, last name. Yeah. Growing up, I was, you know, maybe wouldn't have been fond of it. Right. Ray. Because of Ray. I'm not going to... You know. I, I I understand. But it's all right. There's no relation. Mm, right. Yeah, Don't let him ruin it. It's the uh, that's way on down the... That's way on down the family. You know, they're, they're the outcasts. Right. Por- portion of the... Crimson sheep. Yeah, they really are. They are really <laughs> crimson are. Crimson sheep. Yep. I don't even consider them sheep. They're more like goats. <laughs> the goats. They're more like goats. Well, because um, sheep go to heaven, and we know what happens to goats. Mm-hmm. So, um, mm-hmm. that, yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to give you my Pat Dye quote on Ray Perkins. Oh, I can't, boy. I can't say it on the air, though. Well, you'll have to tell me during the break. Unless we can, I mean, a donkey. I mean, that's okay. To, well, we won't go. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Um, All right. So, so you. So get anyway, home, you so post right, it, I get this email. You post it, right? And it's you know, and it's uh, from a man named G. W. Clapp. Yes. Okay? And well, we went all over the place just because of that man's name right, or that person's name. I know from I'm the assuming. Plainsman, right? Right. right. To, to okay. Your genealogy, right? Yeah, that's exactly okay. right. All right. Okay. So, Mr. Clapp, Back to it. All right. right. And he uh, he he sent some attachments. Okay. In the email, but he introduced it upon hearing. Coach Jordan's voice. Yes. My mind and body were pulled back into the 1950s. Wow. <clears throat> mind and body. And the preseason killer two a day fall workouts. Ooh. So this is a former this, this is a, is player, a former sure. player. And it was so awesome to see like, you know, like my mind and body were pulled because I told you like when I first heard Shug's voice. It was kind of an like, out of body. Down, like I straight up yeah. I broke down. Yeah. I broke down. I mean, it was it, a religious experience. It was like it really was. Paul Saul of Tarsus. Yes, you know what I mean. Yeah. Blinded. Yeah, and then I see, and, and then you became back. Right. Then you became. It was yeah. yeah. Then I became myself. <laughs> I guess whatever. <laughs> I was born. You became the War Eagle Reader. <laughs> right. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's when it happened. Um. And uh, anyway, so it was nice to know that this I wasn't the only one affected sure. by this. Right. Sure. To, to see that instantly. Yeah. That's the first thing that came to mind reading this. Um. The, the, with sweat and blood abounding. Abounding, for God's sake. I recall hearing Coach Jordan blow his whistle as he descended from his tower to give us a rest break. We would take a knee around the man. That was his nickname. The man. The man. Capital T, capital M. Wow. And he would change the subject from football to the hard-fought tank battles he was involved in during World War II in North Africa. I'm saving that, Alan, until (laughs) D-Day. Good plan. That's good. I'm saving that. June 6th. June 6th. Yeah. And yes, he even mentioned his Sunday afternoon front porch swing visits to Fessa Hare's home on South Gay Street while he was a student at API. By the way, sidebar, uh, in the month of June, it's pronounced Jordan will be on the 7th, so that will be perfect timing. Real? I don't know. Yeah, because the How eighth, do you know that? Because the, eighth of, of because the 8th is a Friday, and I'm going to be in Cancun. <laughs> Was it, are you going to be there until the next week? Like, yeah. are you going to be back in time? No, no. We, no the, the the week following, we we actually we're, we're not going to have the show. We're going to put the show on break for one week. Week one, I, it is. <laughs> can you That's imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine Ron doing the show for a whole week without me here? No. I mean, I know that you know. 
I, I know that they miss me and everything. I don't think we've missed Rich at all, have we? Not a bit. I think he needs, just needs to stay in Jacksonville. <laughs> right. I know that they didn't really miss me. No. Um, but, uh, but I would still, not. I, I would yeah, not I ask. I would not ask him to do that. But I, I say all that to say. On the seventh, I'll, that will be a Thursday. I will be here. It'll be the last day before I go to Cancun. People who know the dates like months in advance, off the top of their head, always kind of weird me out. Well, that's I. I, I don't do. The, don't let me weird you out. I, that's not normal. What's I just happen deal, to know man? that one. <laughs> okay. Oh right, because of the Cancun. Because I'm, because I'm leaving the right, next day. Sense. I know right, my right, date right, of departure. Okay. I, I got you. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> They want you to think I was cuckoo. okay, but no, that'll be great though. The seventh, right? Yeah, this will be, be this will be great. It'll be perfect. Yeah, this will be this will right. be even now, more mind blowing. Now, Mr. Clap. Now, Mr. Clap uh, said, "Is it clap or claps?" Clap, Mr. Clap. Mm-hmm. All right, he said fifty-five. Is that what he said, or mid fifties? Oh, well, he said fifties. He he okay was on the freshman team in fifty-seven. Ah, oh, okay. All right, so he was on the. He was in school uh, then uh, when my dad was here. Right. So probably they were probably pals. I'm sure they were. Because he, um, he was piles with everybody. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're oh going to hold that right there. Okay. We're going to go our first break. When we come back, I want to hear the rest of what this did to Mr. Clapp and the memories that it brought up. We will bring gonna, it. This is going to be good. It's pronounced Jordan right here on the drive. Stick with us. We'll be right back. It's pronounced Jordan. That's the name of the segment. We do it every Thursday, unless I'm out of town. Then we might do it on another random day. But we're doing it. Our regular schedule is every Thursday. and we've just, I could do it every day. We've just decided. I probably couldn't. Yeah, you could. <laughs> we've just decided uh, during the break. Uh, I don't know if you heard last hour, but Ron and I uh, were, were planning and plotting about how we might go to Chicago for the Ryder Cup. Um, yeah, I heard. Yeah, during the during the break, we just decided that we're scrapping that plan and we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the show on the road in New Orleans. Nice, because they have drive through <laughs> daiquiris. Nice, that's nice. what I'm talking about. <laughs> just for that, just just, go. just for that reason. No real. <laughs> we don't have to have a sporting event or anything. We'll just go do the show down there. Mm. It'd be a very entertaining show. It would have to be because it would be the last one. <laughs> 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 All right, so. Mm. Okay, so uh, it's pronounced Jordan. So uh, w- what we're talking about uh, last week, we did this great. Uh, we did a great episode where we played some of Shug Jordan's audio, and it was fantastic. It was it was nice and long. It wasn't just a couple of. Seven, no, yeah, I mean, it was about it was two two minutes, two and a half minutes, yeah, something, something like, like something like that. All right, so this former player, so yeah, Mr. He, Clapp. He probably hadn't heard Shug's voice since, in you know, 50 in, in, years. Right. But it's or been a while or, or something. Yeah. Right, right. Probably, yeah, since this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> and, uh, and so, right, so he was he was caught up in the spirit. Right, in the moment. As, as yeah. right, yeah. more biblical. Sure. And um, anyway, so he sent me, he not only, you know, kind of like his recollect, you know, of what this did to him, but he yeah. sent me some letters <gasps> Shug sent to him. No way. As a player. No way. And these are kind of like the preseason and, you know, um and they're they're similar each one, but each year and I'm assuming, you know, these are these are personalized, dear GW, right? But I'm assuming, you know, that these they were, were kind sent of a form probably letter. to everybody, but right. at the same time, it's still, you know, it was typed. Somebody took the time. They wouldn't cut and paste it back then. No. Somebody's typing this thing out. Somebody t- somebody typed it and then went on an old like an old like Animal House mimeograph, you know, like oh, yeah, mem- right, where you yeah. crank it with your hand. That's what it sounded like. Oh, yeah, they they're always actually a lot more advanced. Than I always give them credit for yeah. back that's, in the day. That's my guess. I could be wrong, um, or maybe, or maybe what they had, maybe what they had was uh, when you typed it, you would have two pieces of paper, and then you would have the 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 carbon right thing You're in so the middle. Knowledgeable. So you just. Well, I'm ancient. <laughs> basically, is what it is. <laughs> no, you are. Though. I'm ancient. You drop no. a lot of these things. <laughs> I'm just like ready to chalk it up. To, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what Bo's thoughts are on that. Well, like, that's obviously this. <laughs> Oh, that no, it's sense. it's. I'm, these are just theories. I have no idea. I speculate. It's called a typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's called a carbon copy for a um, reason. Right, exactly. <laughs> Where do you think we got CC from, you idiot? <laughs> <sighs> so I was gonna take some time and read okay. a little yes. bit from GW's I wanna, letter. I want to hear these letters. Now this is dated August second, fifty-seven. Now this is the, the incoming fifty-seven freshman team. 
Oh, and this is the this is the national championship team. Well, right. Well, this is the incoming. So he it was, was like before part, he was part of the recruiting class right. in '57. Right. So this is technically before that season, and he played on the right. freshman team that year. Right. But this is we're going now exactly. into the '57. We year. are in the thick of it. There's a the reason era. why the Chevy, the '57 Chevy is so awesome. Uh-huh. There's a reason why the '57 Bel Air is so incredible. It's bec- it, that year was just I, it was epic. I think it's argue arguable. Arguably. Oh, arguably. 57 was arguably the most American year ever. I think I could give you that. It's, got, before, it's before Vietnam really exploded. Elvis is Elvis is at his peak. little foreshadowing yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, we actually talked about me getting lost in Memphis around Graceland early in the show. <laughs> El- Elvis is doing it. Yep. Elvis is doing it. We just we just uh, we just stomped uh, uh, Sputnik. Sp- yep. Well, and we just we just stomped uh, we just stomped some rear end over in Korea. Korea. Um, Ike. Ike. Ike is in the White House, just just ruling like a benevolent dictator. Don just, Draper. Oh, is are like you kidding? On the rise. For, I mean, right. That's mad. That's a Mad Men reference. Right. I've never watched the show, oh, but everybody God. tweets it about it, tweets about it. So Ugh. I kind of feel like I mm. I just know that he's kind of the dude. Yeah, he's the dude. He's, he's the cocktail swilling. And, and along with those lines, just to yeah. stretch it out, speaking of Don Draper, I'm going to go ahead and go with it. Okay. The guy who owns DonDraper.com. Oh, you're kidding me. Is an Auburn grad. Of course he is. And it has nothing to do with Mad Men. There's not a single Mad Men reference on there. It's just this computer analyst software dude. And he, I accidentally like typed it in one day. I was feeling, you know, in the mood for a little fanfic. <laughs> and, and it and, and uh, it had and not somehow, been taken. And I clicked on it and, and I look and I was like, who's oh man, this is this guy. Great. What 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 a name to have in America. Don Draper. And then I'm looking on the bio and there it is. He's wearing an Auburn hat and his side he's got Dondraper.com and his his uh Twitter accounts at Don Draper. Is he real is that his real name? That's his real name. Don Draper. That is awesome. And he's an Auburn. So of course I like put out, you know, every every few weeks or so, Don Draper is an Auburn Auburn man. That's and awesome. I get a few LOLs. And then some guy got real mad at me the other day on Facebook. You should not do this. Like, many Auburn people will, like, be embarrassed in conversations. Right. right. And I'm just like, All right. you know, Dude, if it's, they, if, if, it's a joke. It's if, okay. If they take this, if they don't click on it and realize, right. they should be embarrassed. <laughs> they should be embarrassed I by mean, themselves. I mean, come on. Anyway. Exactly. I don't All right, think but, an Auburn fan would be duped. And yet we digress. We digress. Anyway, okay. So, getting back to it. All right, so here's the 57 letter. is a yes, good year. That's awesome. the point. It's an awesome that's year. That's the point. Yes. <laughs> okay. I can't believe Sorry. that's what <clears throat> we got the Don Draper <laughs> from 1957. I'm just trying to stretch it out. Ron's not here. I'm assuming <laughs> we might go a little long. Sure, we can go long. Well, obviously, it's 1120 or 526. We're, we're, we're good. Hurry. Okay, we're good. so dear G-Dub. 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 G-W, I wish to take this opportunity to welcome you to Auburn. And I'm asking you to report on Friday, August 30th. The first meal will be served on that night. Upon arrival, report to the athletic field house for room assignments. Physical examinations are scheduled for the morning of August 31st, and you are to report to the field house for equipment and locker assignments that afternoon. Physical. Wow, wow that's And sounds... get ready with, yeah, Shug, Shug has, he emphasizes a certain physicalness. Really? We'll get to that. that I was can't. Lame. Sorry. Wow. It will be necessary for you to bring a change of bed linen, <laughs> blankets, <laughs> pillow, and necessary toilet articles such as towels, soap, etc. A footlocker that can be used to lock valuables in when you are away from Auburn will be beneficial to you. I can't imagine anybody would steal an Auburn, but I can't. Well, never, it, better safe than sorry. Well, you might have some of those other fans that might come That's true. and God try to poison a, poison a tree and leave a footlocker unlocked. That's <laughs> 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 We feel you There's will be a, a member of one of the finest freshman squads ever assembled at Auburn. And expect to have a very and, and GW has that line highlighted of course. in the letter. Who wouldn't? And expect to have a very successful season. You have been carefully selected for an athletic scholarship to Auburn. However, you should consistently strive to improve yourself in every phase of life. I sincerely hope you are coming to Auburn with confidence and determination to make good in every respect, particularly academically and athletically. I would suggest that you begin some conditioning exercises and running. Give particular emphasis to the neck, shoulders, and leg muscles. By all means, do not report excessively overweight. (laughs) Begin your conditioning gradually and slowly increase the tempo. (laughs) Avoid pulling leg muscles. Wow. I'm looking forward to working with you and along with the other members of the coaching staff and, of course, to get to know you better or each other better as time goes by. With best wishes for success, I remain very truly yours, Ralph Jordan. 
How about <laughs> that? And then he there's there's another one, and I'll I'll, I'll breeze back because a lot of it's somewhat kind similar. Of similar. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of that carbon stuff going on. <laughs> right. Or something. But, yeah, uh, bring but your toothpaste. This one was dated. This is going to bring your toothpaste. Right. Now, see, this one's after. This is after the Alan, National Championship. Alan, quote unquote, Alan might yeah. like this because it's getting a little Tennessee action. Oh, here. okay. We were always playing Tennessee like first back in the day. That was like the real big first test. Okay. So, sometime in August uh, 58, this was the letter. Uh, okay. It was to the defending national champions. And prior to our opening kickoff with Tennessee and Birmingham on September 27th, 58, this was Auburn's first regular season game ever on national television in the national TV game of the week when there was only one TV game per week across the country. Wow. For those who are unaware, Auburn won 13-0. <clears throat> Tennessee had no first downs and minus 40 yards total offense. So, all right, so here it is. So this one's kind of interesting because this is like after okay, You know, yeah. Suge's got to yeah. he, – he's – you know, we, yeah. we got to keep it up. Yeah, we got to maintain absolutely streak. Yeah, dear G Dub, as you know, in a few short weeks we will take to the take the field against Tennessee, launching another football season. It stands the reason that a squad that comes back in good physical shape is a much better chance than one that comes back not ready for the strenuous type of exercises that fine football demands. So begin now if you have not already done so. Some running, shoulder and neck exercises, and start. What are neck exercises? As one who's not in the greatest of shape, I mean, what? I mean, other than like, what? I mean, what are you doing? You well, hanging bells on your neck? Are well, you they're, uh, they're used peacocking? To, I mean, when I well, there. I know people are going to laugh, so just go ahead and prepare yourself. Okay. I used to wrestle. Okay. When I was in high school, <laughs> I know I actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, you look good. <laughs> that just got a little awkward. <laughs> All right, um, I can see you out on a mat. <laughs> my in, in my in my uh, right. You wear leotards. Yeah. We wear the prescribed wrestling no, uniform. The wrestling dudes are tough, man. <laughs> yeah, leotards. All right, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Breakfast Club reference. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, yeah. um, but there was a machine in the weight room, and I, I assume they still have them. Although I don't frequent weight rooms very often anymore, uh, they may not have them because, in retrospect, it was kind of it was kind of dangerous. But it was basically a neck machine. And you sit, you sat in a chair thing, and there was a pad, and you put your head against the pad, and it was a, attached to a weight and pulley system, and you set weights, and you went, <laughs> and you just do this, and it would build up your neck muscle. Now, if you didn't do it right, you could you could get a, a cramp in your neck, and you wouldn't be able to turn at all, which is of course oh. what happened to me. Jeez, it, it it was yeah, but yeah, they there was a so I don't know, maybe they did have I don't know what they had back in 1958. Kind of screwed up. It, it it was kind of a torture thing. <laughs> Just it, it, like was, it. it was kind of a torture thing. Well, so Suge was all about it. Yeah, you got to have he a neck. Was, he was all about the neck. Now, now, what month was this? Thick-necked dudes. Does it say when? Uh, this is August 58. Wait, wait. You might want to start now? With your neck exercises. In August, the first game's in September, and you're just starting? You might want to start, if you haven't already, you might want to start. You right. might want to think about. Yeah, that was actually kind of weird. I was kind of like, yeah, surely these do. But, you know, back then it was probably ba- just, you know, it was so much, you know, we're so sedentary now. Well, that's true. Sedentary? That's yeah. the word. Right. Yeah. We're so, and stupid now. <laughs> Full we're of so dirt? dumb no, now. No. Yeah, sedimentary. Yeah. No. Sedentary. Yes. And, and, we don't and move a lot. then, you know what I mean? These are all farm boys. You know, yeah. GW claps from like when you look, Hansville. Well, something. and when you look at pictures back then. They, like everybody is just like rail thin, right? There right. wasn't there wasn't the, the weight issue, right? Everybody was rail thin. I I don't know what it, I, I guess it was it was just a different it, it was a different time. Right. It was a different time. Yeah, it was different. You know, everybody's everybody's scrappy, but they're all you know like they're all they all look like Biff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes I do. Yeah, yes I do. All and right, all right, before you go on, let's go, we'll take a yeah, we'll take a quick break. No, half and then, a letter, and then we'll hear the rest of the letter when we come back. Alan lost his connection. He'll get it back. Alan, quote unquote, he'll get it back. He'll get it back. I have faith. All right, the rest of Suge Jordan's 1958 letter and more to G W Caps and who, more and more. <laughs> when we come back, it's pronounced Jordan. Welcome back into the drive. It's pronounced Jordan. That's the name of the segment, Jeremy Henderson, he of the War Eagle Reader. All right, Jeremy, we are halfway through uh, the second letter. <laughs> and we will hurry. I know I do this too much, but I don't know. This one, this one's good. I'll, 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 whatever. Okay, I'll, 
Let's it's see. Okay. We'll we'll just jump into it. Okay. Right. Blah 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 blah. Get back here. Uh, don't pull muscles. I'm asking you to report to Auburn during the afternoon of Sunday, August 31st. Our first meal on the training table will be that night. I don't know what that means. They eat on the training tables. Our first meal on the training. Or table. is that like a euphemism? I have no you know idea. What I'm saying like, oh, I don't, I don't, meal, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't that's meal. kind of. It's, I don't know. It's a little. I'm, it's a little <laughs> awkward. Uh, <laughs> we can. <laughs> Um, we can then get physical examinations out of the way on the morning of September 1st. If you are smoking and indulging in other things that are not good for an athlete, capitalize, stop now, <laughs> and training will be much easier. <laughs> By the way, that's good advice. as true today as it was 50, uh, 60 years ago. I don't know what Brother, he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. is just true now. That uh, Listen. Mm-hmm. If you're smoking and consuming things you shouldn't be, it's kind of hard to run laps and do neck presses. If only, if only, if only certain, Mr. Dyer. I'm telling you, if you just listen. If only, if he'd only he'd read this. Mm. I have failed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be too hard on the yourself. Team, the team of the past season made a, paid a great price to win the national championship. Mr. Clapp has that also. Yeah, highlighted, and he does. He should. In order to remain on top, an even greater price must be paid by players and coaches alike. Man, the Auburn football team is faced with its greatest challenge. I need like some good patriotic. Yeah, I, I need to. That, yeah. I should have had that. I'm sorry, I failed. You failed. I did. In the, I in the had William some Tell, the the 1812 overture. Get yes. that one. I want you to know that we are counting on you individually to help Auburn maintain its wonderful record. And then the, the next one, it goes on and basically just talks about how. You know, like Auburn, because, you know, they've, in 58, they went, you know, undefeated. Right. We tied, who did we tie? Georgia, I think. Tied Georgia, 58 undefeated. So it was like we were still trying to keep the streak up. Right. And basically he was like, every team we play, we're going to be the toughest game. Like, every team. I don't know. That was kind of cool. That is. And then more, don't drink. Right. You know, stop your sin. (laughs) (laughs) He didn't actually sin, say that. But. Sin. I mean, it's Bible verses are just scrawled all over this thing. <laughs> Crosses. Um, that would be awesome. Suge doodles. Suge ever doodled. Anyway. All right. Okay. So, all right. So that was awesome. All right. So that's something about stay that on one. target. So, so we're gonna stay on target here. Okay. Now we're gonna keep going. Okay. Now, now here's a little something. Now for years, years, yes. all these photos I've archived. Yes. In a, I've wasted my life on all these things, and one no, of no, no, the no, roles. No. Let, let's not say waste. Don't, okay. don't, don't, don't sell yourself short. Come on, <laughs> I have, it is a passion. Okay, it's a passion. It's and a it's, sickness. No, is it's it not. Is. It is. It is. It's a. It really. It's a calling. I. I it's a calling. I, I, I hope it is a calling. I'm. I, I firmly believe. Okay, I firmly it is a believe it is. Okay. I'm okay. there for you, brother. It's a calling that I have spent my life. Yes. On. Mm, you have well toiled. Spent. You have toiled. To- toiled. Um, fought the good fight, running the race here, right? So one of the, these great folders on my computer. Yep. Elvis and Auburn, the concert. May, uh, yeah, March 5th, 1974. I was five years old. Five years old. That was your birthday. My birthday. Mm, right. Five years old. Were you a, there? It was a Thursday. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Thursday. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah, no, I bet it. Yeah, I bet uh, you do know. I don't. That's a joke. I do not know. Um, all right. He he comes. It was a big entertainment year. Elton John had been here. The Beach Boys came a month after this. That's huge. Yeah, the UPC was bringing it. Back, yeah, they were back in the early seventies. I mean, it was amazing. Anyway, Elvis, yeah, Elvis. It's like it's like he's getting, the king of rock and roll. Yeah, that that'd be like getting. I mean, there's not even no, anybody. It's like com- getting Elvis is what it is. Yeah, there's <laughs> nobody to compare that to now. I know, I know. Yeah, it's huge. It'd be like Bieber. <laughs> this is like having the Pope coming. Be like having the Pope come and just hang out with you for a while. Right, poping. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's like having the Dalai Lama just come and make some tea. Exactly. I don't know. Right. Come does he does he drink tea? I don't know. I think so. Don't those? Sh- I yeah, think they, they do. They, they guzzle it over there. I think so. That's all they do. It would be green. Right. All right. So <laughs> so <laughs> so Elvis was so here. Elvis came. Right. Now, now here's the, 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 the here's the truth. I had no idea that Elvis had once walked on these mm-hmm. planes. He has breathed this air. There's, I mean, he. I feel him. Even, even now, and even now, and yeah. my grandma. I mean, this was such such a big deal. I mean, the the show was sold out. The only time it had been sold out before this was Bob Hope 
coming for something in 71. Wow. Right? My grandmother was at the Elvis show. You're kidding. My mom, my dad, and my grandmother. I mean, this was like a big deal for well, grandmama yeah. to get out sure. to go see Elvis. Sure. It's kind of weird when I think about it, but she well, was there. She was probably she in was her- there. She was probably, probably chaperoning. Her, she was probably in her 40s. Right. You know? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you're right. It'd be like it'd be like me going to see REM, right? Yeah, or U two, yeah. And this is that's probably you know what that's probably is that's probably the closest you can get U two U if U two came and played at the Auburn Arena, that's probably what it is. And I would go, right? <laughs> and I would take D man, <laughs> D man. Oh, the son. my son, the son, twelve years old. I gotcha. Yeah, right. Okay. So all right, so Elvis so is he's here. here, and so all this time, you know, I'm always looking for Auburn connections, and everything, and and obviously with these photos, it's like oh, if there was like you know like Bjork, right? Right. I'm a big Bjork fan. Sure. Sugar she cubes. was here. She came, and it was a big deal. And there were pictures of them. They did this little promo thing for MTV, and they're yes. in the stadium and everything. And then there's Bjork. I, a girl sent me photos, and there's Bjork with an Auburn cup, yes. popping corks, yes. right backstage. Like you know, and I'm like, oh, you know, anything you can get Auburn sure. around anything. Sure. And I was there was so, a whole there was a whole Bruce uh, Springsteen thing. Right, right, right. Yeah. And I'm so boss. and I'm so looking, you know, for any kind of Auburn connection. Sure. Somebody told me, you know, like, oh, I saw him. At a gas station, kind of a deal, but I mean, you know, something, something that you I want could something like, physical, claim, right? Well, so you know, and, and hoping you know there would be some sort of video would show up one time, you know, somehow something audio. Yeah. Well, about a month or two ago, I finally found, thanks to my little eBay alerts. <clears throat> I don't want to give away my secrets, <laughs> but some sort of shop, some sort of Elvis shop over in England. They love Elvis over there. Well, sure. Why wouldn't they? They somehow got a hold of some fan of some fan's bootleg eight track cassette something or other. All I know is it showed up. It was a CD. And it was like Auburn or Elvis rocks Auburn. You're and I was kidding. just like, oh, you know, like oh god, <laughs> Elvis rock. It was a CD. Right. You got a whole there, CD. And, and there was there was constantly Elvis and Auburn little like snapshots showing up, little dinky right. color snapshots. They yeah. all look alike. There he right. is. He's all sequined out, you know, and there's the photos I have are pretty good. Like they're really good. They're black and white. They're by the best photographer the Glomerata ever ever knew, Larry Parker. Of course. And he uh and 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 anyway, so you know, there there, there were these great shots. Yeah. But, you know, um I see I see, you know, yeah, it was a CD. It was like a a double dual CD. Well, it was just one CD. But so, and I order it. Okay. Right? I'm not going to say how much I paid for it, but Those, it, it came here. Okay. It got here. And I started From listening. From England. And the, the quality's horrible, yeah. right? I mean, the t- I'm like, dear God. You know what yeah. I mean? This isn't like on the stage. This is just like some Yahoo with something in his pocket or something. Right. But, you know, you can hear CC Ryder and you can hear the riffs and everything. Right. And, like, you know, they play him, you know. And so it's going good. And I'm like, well, this is just going to be good enough. I can just throw these photos on there. I've been looking for an excuse and put right. the concert. So as I'm loading it the other day, right, do we need to go? Do we need to go? Oh God! No, 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 no. It, no! This is perfect. Okay, this is perfect. So, this is a tease. I, I, tease it. Okay, as we're loading it the other day, I'm getting right at the end, and it's the second to last song. Like, uh, I can't remember what it is. It's, it was a good one, of course. <laughs> and uh, and so, like, I, I hear some banter. You know what I mean? I was constantly oh, listening for banter, oh, listening yeah. for shouts, just people, somebody shouting more, you, anything. Yeah. And I'm hearing banter, and and it sounds like Elvis and a young lady are having some sort of like there's inter, a little you know, conversation exchange or right. something going on. Right. And apparently, it turns out that there was a young girl who got up to the stage to get his scarf. So I'm thinking this is what's going on. And then all of a sudden, I I hear it. He starts saying, he's like, uh, I, w- I want to tell you something real quick. And we're dot, gonna dot dot. And we're gonna hear that when we come back, Elvis is in the building when we come back it's pronounced jordan on the drive it's pronounced jordan all right we have set it up we have set it up we've set it up jeremy if you're just joining us i'll give you a quick recap jeremy for years has had these pictures of elvis when he was here march 5th 1974 looked at him every day so and just was pining for the day when he could find some type of audio or visual, uh, some audio or video, orange and blue suede shoes, it, it would be anything, per- sure, anything, something, I- something of the king speaking of our beloved. And we we we, we get the, the CD of the concert, and I'm listening. Like I said, any any and kind it's of just, just and it's just kind all. of just bad. It would be like if somebody was in the back of a concert recording it on their phone. It was that it's that kind of audio, right? 
Right. Until you listen all the songs, you're on the you're between the last two songs. Right. And, and you're listening. I'm listening, and, and you know usually, and I was I was hearing because you know a lot of times you know bands will come, and we just posted something this week of the band Alabama, and there they are wearing. Uh, Auburn jerseys, you know, in 85, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And usually bands try to do this thing, like, all right, you uh, war eagles, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, you know, Bjork, like I said, right. did her peace eagle thing. Anyway, yeah, so I'm exactly. listening, I don't hear anything, and then lo and behold. So this is the clip that we hear between the, the second to last and the last song. This is Elvis. Pull over. And, and it, yeah, listening. you really have to pull over, make sure you turn every, sh- you, crank, hush the kids, it. hush the kids, quiet the kids in the back. Cross yourself. Get, give, them, give them headphones or something. Go ahead and perfect. Now, here's, I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of noise going on, so you have to listen to it. We'll play it more than once, but here it is. I'd like to take a look at this song. All right, now, just so you know what he says, what he says is, because it's been transcribed, what he says is, I want to tell you all something. I've had a, I've enjoyed being I've on, this, beautiful on this beautiful campus today. today. And, I'm a, and I'm, a I'm a fan of Auburn's football team. I'm a fan of Auburn's football. I couldn't tell if it was Auburn's football team or Auburn University. I thought he said Auburn's football team. Well, either way. Either way. doesn't matter. And then a fan screams War Eagle. And then somebody and then, screams War Eagle, and then Elvis responds in kind. War Eagle. Let's War listen. Eagle. Let's listen. Now that you know what you're listening to, let's listen to it, I don't know, five or six more times. Right. <laughs> Yes, he does say football team. Mm-hmm. Let, let, let's do it one more time, man. I'd like to take a look at this song. Um, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And there it is. And and let's face it, he was you know he lived in Memphis. This was before Memphis really had a football team to speak of, and they still don't. Um, and, and you're thinking maybe this is something he you know he goes around every campus and everything, but no, our Riley, yes, pal and contributor, came across him. The me- it's making the message boards. Elvis is War Eagle, dear God, right? And somebody said that their mom was saw Elvis in Tuscaloosa around the same time. And she said she definitely knew that he did not say anything like that. No roll tides came from the king's How lips. How about that? You know why? Because he's the king. Because he's the king. Now, think about this. Now, I'm, you know, it's like, oh, man, you know, we, we'll get a, a, the dude from, you know, How I Met Your Mother in an Auburn shirt, you know, or Bjork in a thing, or, you know, the girl from Glee in an Auburn shirt and everything. Yeah. Any kind of connection, you know, these celebs and everything. Yes. This is arguably the biggest celebrity of all time. Save I, for the Christ. <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean, as far as an individual man, I mean, this, I mean, as far as, I mean, name name anybody else. I was thinking about it. I well, mean, you're the, totally about to, but I mean. All right. So it, I think the only other one you could do would be a, when a sitting president. Maybe. George Bush, who came to Auburn as a sitting president and said War Eagle. Well, I'm, no, no, no. Well, well, yeah. I'm that just was, saying, I'm just saying the biggest celebrity, like, of all time i mean you think w trumps no i'm not saying he trumps i'm just as far as like as far as maybe a warrior but see now but if you think about this if elvis is the biggest i mean now obviously it didn't have the impact because of you know but i mean as far as just pure on paper maybe not necessarily impact of the overall like your god but 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 you know in in the record book kind of a thing. Sure. I mean, okay. this, as far, I put as, this as, far over as a GW. man, I put this over GW. As far as a celebrity, as sure. far as a person who sure. wore eagle in sure. an Auburn context, sure. came from their lips. Yes. I I think this has to be the biggest. It, now the, here's the closest, the closest that you will get, and and it doesn't really compare. Cam Newton. It, no, it, <laughs> it doesn't really compare. Now we're talking about. We're talking about outsider celebrities, not Auburn produced celebrities, true, because yes. Bo Jackson, right, right, right. You know, right? Obviously, okay. the Elvis of football, right. exactly. Sports, right. sure, but the world. All right, all right. <laughs> so he's the Elvis of Elvis. I want right. that on my tombstone. <laughs> the Elvis a, of the world. He was the Cadillac of cards. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so <laughs> there's already one exactly. of those. All right, so <laughs> we're going to be the Boise of college football. <laughs> right. uh, there's already one of right. those. Thank you very much. Um, I would have to say. And it doesn't. It's not really the same because it was written into a script. Mm-hmm. 
but Ocean's Eleven with Frank Sinatra. Uh, well, that's definitely up there. That is, I still say Elvis is bigger than Frank. I mean, on, well, on an I, overall it, uh, international scale, I say Elvis has more cachet. Mm, I, I than think Frank. It, I think it's close. It's hard for us to compare because of the different eras that they came through. But when you look at record sales and and worldwide appeal, however, I this is what I this is what I would say. This is what I would say, because Elvis was here and said it here, and it wasn't written into a script that he recited in Hollywood. That's true. I think that I think that's what trumps it. That's I think true. that I think that's what trumps it. Well, right. Yeah. If, so, if you were gonna if you were gonna have a bigger, you would have to have, like. <sighs> I just don't know. Like, right? I mean, if Winston Churchill. In, 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 during the like right after right. World War II, after the yeah. after, after the Allies defeated the 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 Axis powers, if he came, I, I mean, I don't know if General MacArthur decided to have them sign <laughs> the the Tokyo Treaty instead of on the battleship in Tokyo Bay, if they had him sign it on the in the middle of the football field, that right. might have been bigger. Right. Well, that might have been bigger. But some, yeah, somebody said. Um, Somebody left a comment, you know, and, and this was kind of my way of thinking, a guy named Marcus says, well, that's it. No more AU and pop culture references required, unless they unearth more dead sea scrolls detailing the prophet <laughs> Elijah carried to heaven while shouting War Eagle. This is pretty much the pinnacle. <laughs> All right. D- let me just say, that's a distinct possibility. Right. Let's not laugh about that. Right. What do you mean unless? We are, we are, <laughs> we are God's chosen. That's my main mission right now. Thank I'm on that. Listen. I got I- a grant and everything. <laughs> <laughs> the shroud of Auburn, the right? shroud of Turin, the shroud of Shugan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't, oh. believe, I can't believe the hour's over. Wow! Talk about treading on on hello ground. Do it every day, baby. Man, that was incredible. <laughs> All right, final segment of the uh, final segment of the drive uh, as uh, we uh, wrap up the show. All right, uh, I think I've I think we've come up with the one. This culturally. This might be the one Trump, and by this is this would be the holy grail if you could find this. If the queen, the queen herself, Queen Elizabeth, if you could find, you know, sometime with her and the and the prince, you I'm, know, I'm on it. You know, maybe maybe. <laughs> Well, you know, maybe we'll, we'll die. For God's sake, die offered what's his name, William, a scholarship. This is listen as a tight end. If you could find audio of the Queen, my husband and I would like to say how gr- wonderful it is to be with you here today on the loveliest village on the plain. I think Alan might be able to track it down. And we would love to say to you a hearty <laughs> war eagles. <laughs> Right, I think I think if there's and anybody who could, it'd probably Auburn be Alan. Tigers. I'm, I'm supposed to do a shout out. He's listening with his dad. Who's this? Alan. Ah. Oh. And the and the dad down in Nolans. A U Nolans. Yes. You know what I'm saying. Awesome. War Eagle World. War Eagle. All right, that's uh, that's gonna do it for the show today. It's pronounced Jordan. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, right back here on the drive.